Greetings, friends! On the previous episode <laughs> of The Fit Farmer, we were busy setting up drip irrigation in our high tunnel where I'm growing tomatoes and cucumbers. And in today's episode, we are planning to set up drip tubing here in this greenhouse. And before I can do that, I have to harvest this lettuce that we have here in the beds that we're going to be setting up the drip tubing in. So, yeah, I know it would have been ideal to have the drip set up before we had the plants growing in here. But reality of the matter is, I didn't have it set up. So, we're setting it up now. But it's so neat to see all the different things that are, have been growing in here. From the strawberries we have in this main bed here in the center. With the lettuce and the tomatoes that are growing up in the center. And then the leeks. So, I've, have to, I've been having to water it by hand. So it's going to be so nice to be able to have the drip tubing here so I don't have to water it by hand and constantly watch it to make sure things aren't drying out in here. Oh, in addition to what we have growing here in the center, we also have on the outside perimeter of each side, we have other cucumbers growing as well. So we have tomatoes and cucumbers growing all over the place. But uh, let's get this lettuce harvested. I've gotten a number of cuttings off of this lettuce right here. Sometimes I can get three, sometimes I can even get four harvests off of just one plant. So that's pretty good. And uh, another thing that I like about this lettuce is it's pretty heat tolerant. So during the warmer months, it can still grow. And even now that it's been warm, it's been 90 degrees like yesterday outside, and here in, in the greenhouse, it's even warmer, and this lettuce has been able to hold up to it. Uh, I do recommend keeping the leaves moist and, and wet when the temperatures are, are up there, but uh, it's a really good one. And I was first introduced to this lettuce. This is actually a Salanova lettuce from, from Johnny Seeds. And uh, I was first introduced to this lettuce a number of years ago when I had the opportunity to visit Ray Tyler at Rose Creek Farm. And I was just amazed by all the different things that he, he grows there. And, how he's able to grow lettuce year round and I've been able to mimic some of the things that I've learned from him including growing some of this lettuce. Alrighty, so we've got all that lettuce just from that bed there. And speaking of Rose Creek Farm, that was like one of the first big time farms, successful farms that I had been to and I had featured on this channel. So it was pretty neat to, to go there and learn there. I learned a lot from Ray and I've tried to implement a number of the things that they have done as well as Curtis Stone here in our market garden and, and it has made us, it has helped us with our successes. And uh, we used the landscape fabric with the lettuce and, and Ray was just like, I remember seeing that for the first time and just how pretty everything looked with the lettuce in that fabric. And it's just like, wow. And then how they irrigate with the, the mini wobblers and wobblers. It was just like, man, there's their systems that are just, man, just spot on and, and definitely something to, to, to mimic and duplicate. And uh, we've tried to do that in a number of ways. However, this past year, one of the things I've really been thinking about is I kind of want to gradually do away with not having to use the landscape fabric, especially in uh, in the beds where we're growing things. I want to get more to doing like the leaf leaf mulch and, and things like that, more of a uh, just a natural thing. And I think we, this year uh, we have also decreased our CSA and a number of the customers we have uh, serviced through the years. So that's given me the opportunity to experiment with more things like that and not have to be so focused on just production, production, production. So. Uh, so, so that's what we're trying to do and the lettuce that was here uh, since things are warming up big time right now I think we're gonna go ahead and start pulling some of this out but we can uh, some of this is just the dirty ones and leaves that didn't look really good in here so what we can do is just take that and let that be like a mulch around the tomato plants and then as I clean up in here we can go ahead and bring in our drip tubing here but uh, first I need to get the lettuce that we harvested into the refrigerator so uh doesn't get wilty on me. Alright. 
Right now we just store this lettuce and a lot of our produce in these refrigerators here. But a project we have coming up that we really have been needing to finish for some time now is our walk-in cooler and freezer there. So we finally purchased the unit to get that done. So hopefully they'll arrive and uh, we'll be able to get it done and completely done. All right, I'll gear up our items for our drip inside the greenhouse. The drip tubing here is what we're going to use. We used the drip tape last time, but uh, we're going to use the tubing this time for a little bit tighter spaces. And uh, okay. so, um, I think this is, uh, this is what we need for right now. Hey, 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 how are we doing today? <laughs> More cucumbers. More cucumbers. Thanks so much for going ahead and starting on this with setting up the tomahawks for the cucumbers because that definitely makes a difference in multiple ways. So, thank you so much. You're welcome. So, you getting the technique down for, for doing this? I think yeah. so. I tie a few while I'm sitting down and I stand up and hang them up. All right, well, while you're working on that, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the drip tubing here. Man, it's starting to warm up in here already. I may even have to put some shorts on, even though I'm not a shorts guy. I know. And uh, we have this side rolled up of the greenhouse. And I uh, have figured out a system that works with rolling it up and, and, and then tying it around to the inside of the hoops here. But I really need to get to doing... Man, I know there's so many things that I need to do around here. It's like every day I come out, it's like, ah, oh, just see all the different things. Does that happen to you guys around your, your house, your homestead? You just you just look around and you're like, there's so many things just glaring at you. It needs to be done. It needs to be done. It needs to be done. You need to do this. You need to do that. I want to do this. I want to do that. It's just like, ah! So, <laughs> I'm going to get the drip first. There's a couple other things we need to do, but um, I need to get this side finished like our other side over there so we can just easily roll it up. But uh, no guarantees that I'm going to do it today, but I'm going to at least hold it up so we can get some good airflow in here because it's supposed to be like 92 or something today i don't know something in the 90s so what i did i just took a uh, strap here put it to the wire that we have running for our tomahawks for the cucumbers on this side and i just tied it on to lacy's cattle panel there that she uses as a trellis for growing a number of things so i'm gonna do that on the other end to get some airflow going kind of all around as best we can and then i'm gonna start on the tubing Temporary fix. Just get us some airflow though. Crazy Bermuda grass, devil grass grows everywhere. Well, I'm at it again. <laughs> I haven't ever pruned cucumbers before, but I know they just get out of control and we have a real problem here with powdery mildew because of all the humidity in the summer here. So I was looking up how to prune cucumbers and I found that it's really similar to tomatoes. So I'm over here butchering plants again. <laughs> uh, so let me show you what I found out and what I'm doing here this year. So what I learned is just like a tomato, it's got the one straight stem is what you want to keep. And then it has leaves. And then you have your little fruit that are coming on and you have your tendrils. But this right here is a sucker. So a whole other part of the plant is, is 
gonna shoot out and this will produce cucumbers we've gotten lots of cucumbers off of these before but in the greenhouse here um, we just don't want it to take over so I'm going through and taking off the suckers so we have to look for it see here's a sucker you have the stem you have a leaf and then the sucker starts and I'm just gonna cut that off so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna take the suckers off of all these cucumbers and um, you know from what I understand they still produce really really well um, and we're just gonna see if this really helps take down the powdery mildew and helps us have a better harvest oh one more thing I learned is that I'm going to take off all the leaves that are touching the ground or touching other plants. And so uh, another thing that that'll do will increase the airflow around the plant to lessen the, uh, the chance of disease being spread. All right, I must admit, I have no idea what I'm doing with, with this irrigation system. I'm used to doing the the drip tape but this tubing is totally new to me so i guess i have somewhat of an idea if i'm used to doing the, the the tape but like i said this is my first time doing this so we're gonna punch our first hole in we got our main line set up and then i ran just ran this row of tubing so now we gotta actually punch our hole and then attach it in here so we'll use this multi-tool here and then we'll just oh put a hole in there that's pretty easy take our transfer barb here little pieces right here They'll connect the tubing. Into right here. There we go. Oh. There we go. Let's go ahead and do a test run before we hook anything else up if we have any major leaks in the main line and uh, see if the one row that we ran actually works. Then tighten this up. Turn it on! Fun, fun, fun. You hear the water flowing? Yeah. Uh, not feeling the need leak. leak here. Let's come over here and check with that. No leak here, that's good. Oh, look here. It's working. Looks so good. Yeah, that is looking good. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the water off and then run the rest of our line. So I have a huge one here that I need to prune. So this is really gonna look bad on this plant. But I didn't really know you could prune cucumbers, but I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna look at what fruit is on the suckers. I'm just gonna cut it off and know that later on it will be even better. Hey Sailor, did you come down here and put pins in? You could probably put them every other line in the block. Just like that. So there's that line. Let's get that one and do the next one. Thank you. Right there? Yes, yes ma'am. these in. Let's go behind the right close to the cucumbers. Well I must say there is one good thing about suckers. It's when you accidentally prune off the wrong thing and there's still a sucker on there you can just use that one for the main plant because that's what I just did. 
There was so much foliage I couldn't see and I clipped and I clipped the wrong stem. But thankfully, lower on the plant, there was a sucker. And now I'm gonna take this one and string it up to be my new, I guess, parent plant. Woo, it's just a little bit hot in here, isn't it, guys? Well, I wish you could feel it back home. Actually, no, I don't. I want you to be nice and comfortable. No, oh, actually, I want you to get uncomfortable sometimes. But right now, while you're watching this, you can you can be comfortable, but just kind of, I don't know, feel a vision or whatever. Just feel the heat because it's warm in here. It's hot in here. And we're sweating just a little bit. But we're almost done. Hang in there, everybody. We're almost done. The last bit. Just got to get this last two rows of drip tubing around the cucumbers in this outside bed. And then we can go cool off. Woo! I want either some ice cream or a popsicle. That would help so much. <laughs> I think we can arrange that. Well, let's just pull this on down. Right there, we can get it done. Done. It was good to be out of there. Even though it's still hot out here, it's cooler out here than it is in there. So, as Lacey was pruning the cucumbers and we were also seeing that we need to get some cabbage out of there that was in there from before. We got a couple heads off of it, but um, we're gonna take some of this and give it to the ducks and let them munch on it. You see that? I love it when they do that. They stick their head in the water. Actually, I feel like putting my head in the water right now. All right, so we finally have cooled off in here, refueling, yes. rehydrating, <laughs> and resting a little bit. And as it gets to this time of year, it's almost like we just start cutting off our, our day halfway through anyways, a little after lunch, because it's just so hot outside, and it's hard to do anything without feeling like you're going to die. <laughs> so once temperatures start hitting the, the 90s, uh, we usually get an early start in the morning and then stop somewhat around lunchtime and then let things cool down and, and go back out again well whew, recovering mentally as well one of the things that uh the kids enjoy 
with the things that we do here on YouTube and sharing all the different things that we do is sometimes you guys are just so generous and you go above and beyond and you send us all kind of little neat things and the kids just love seeing when the deliveries come and we'll be working on a project outside and they're running, oh, here comes FedEx or here comes Amazon or here comes UPS, the lady or whatever. Or whoever. And they're like, all right, we'll get there, hold on. So we'll usually have to stop whatever we're doing outside and go over and, and get the packages. But uh, we got a number of packages that we want to share today and uh you guys there's so many of you it's, it's, it's hard we can't share it in every video but uh, we just want to showcase some number of things that we've gotten here recently and you just got some cuttings for what some elderberries here recently well yes i did receive some elderberry cuttings but they got open and they got set on the table and they got pushed back and kind of forgotten about and uh, they all died so I had to go tell my friend Dawn, the Mississippi Girl Garden, and she has a YouTube channel, just to let you know, that um, that I accidentally killed all of them. <laughs> so I said, please forgive me, and I uh, asked if she needed any comfrey, and she did. So she's going to send me some more elderberry cuttings, and I'm going to send her some comfrey. Oh, that's so nice for her to be able to do that. Yeah, I felt terrible. Yeah. I felt really terrible. Because by the time I found them, the, the paper towel was still moist. And I put them in some water. But all the little green leaves that had were there were all gone within a few mm. days. I felt really, really bad. Oh. Well, we got some other items. <laughs> Kay Rose sent us some biblical items to study. And for those of you who don't know, three of my favorite subjects to study and read about are... One, health. Two, anything about homesteading, farming. But three is just like religious studies, biblical studies. Uh, those are just things that I really enjoy looking at. So thank you, K. Rose, for sending that to us. And related to that, G.W. Tolley, who is an author, sent me one of his books. And uh, A Modern Day Job. That sounds like a really, really neat book. I don't, I don't really have time at this time of year to dive into a lot of, a lot of deep studies and, and reading. Uh, but as things start to wind down towards the end of the year, try to do a little bit more of that. He also sent us this really, really neat little plaque here. And on the back it says, Awarded to God's People. So I really like that. And, and Philippians 4.13 is actually something that we talk about a lot here. That we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us and gives us strength. That is, that is neat. So we'll be hanging that up. Definitely we'll be looking at it and on those days you get down and feel like you can't do something. So that's pretty neat and pretty exciting. Well... Since it's so hot outside, and uh, it's that time of day where we just kind of really can't do much, I think I may just kind of kick back and just rest and recover a little bit before we get back at it. What about you? I'm going to finish eating, and then I think I'm going to take a nap for just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then we got some video editing to do. Actually, it'll be mostly lazy, but I've got some other projects related to that that I'll be working on. So, um, And also... Um, we recently received some headphones that have really come in handy. Headphones, yes. I believe Lorraine sent those. And one other thing that I can't remember who sent this, but she sent a card telling us that she bought us the um, water hose outside and she wanted to know if we got it. And so we got it. Thank you so much. Things have been turned upside down around here lately, so I can't remember exactly who you are but please know we can really really appreciate it and let us know in the comment section below or send us a note on email or instagram or facebook so we really want to make sure that we have a name to go with that water hose because it really really comes in handy thank you so much and for those of you who are looking for a good water hose that can move around in various areas with, yeah. without tearing stuff up I really recommend those flexi, flexi hose or yeah. water and hose it really or whatever comes it in handy whenever somebody breaks the old one that you have and so we had one just to go right in its place i didn't break it i pointed to myself oh, I, I thought you i thought you were pointing over to me not to you that. to me i, I break a lot of it. stuff though <laughs> i'm taking the place <laughs> all right guys well we will see you next time let me know what's the temperature for you guys do you have are you getting 90 degree temperatures yet uh because we are see you next time bye